Hey everybody, my name is Aaron. I'm a sales tech here at Nagios Enterprises. I'd like to welcome you to this series on Windows monitoring with Nagios XI. We've got a set of videos here that are going to get you through monitoring all of your Windows things. So the really the most important thing to know about Windows monitoring is that you've got a lot of choices. There's a number of ways you can do it with Nagios XI. Here's kind of the overview. Generally, you can use an agent or you can use a protocol. So we're going to cover a couple of agents and we're going to cover a couple of protocols. How do you know which one you should use? Well, uh, the quick tip is, well, watch all of them and see which ones make sense. But another thing you can take a look at is really the difference between agents and protocols. Agents will give you a little more flexibility. Uh, you can execute remote plugins. That's what's great about agents. What's nice about native protocols is that, you know, we have some clients, say, in the healthcare space where they have a really hard time getting any piece of software through the vetting process. So if they can run with a native protocol and they don't have to add software to machines, they're a lot further down the road. So that's a general overview, and we're going to jump into our first video here. It's going to cover the NS Client++ agent which is the oldest agent in the stable of agents for monitoring Windows with Nagios XI. And then we'll move on to other things after that video. So stay tuned and here we go. Okay, let's get this agent installed. We're going to find the agent within the configuration wizard. So I'm on the configuration wizards page. We're going to monitor this Windows desktop, which is the one that I'm working on right now. And right here on step two of the configuration wizard, we're going to find the agent. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to download it. I'm going to save this file. Obviously, I'm working in Firefox here. Click this and run it. Click next. I am going to accept the terms in the license agreement. I'm going to do a typical install. And I'm going to uh, accept that path there and we're going to get here so in the allowed host section we're going to add a comma and then the IP address of the Nagios server right here is our password you can highlight that and control C switch back to Nagios XI and you can paste that right there and then in terms of the modules to load, we're going to load these top three and we're going to click next and then we're going to click install. And just like that, we're done. Now, the cool thing is that it has taken care of everything it needs to on the client side. So we've already opened ports. We've allowed things through. We've done the configuration file. So we should be able to just be good to go. So from here, I'm just going to go to next and finish and there you have it. So it has been successfully applied. Now let's take a look to make sure that it is being monitored. We go to home, host detail, and here's that. We'll take a look and here's our services. Everything that we've been trying to monitor, everything is okay. So the agent is working fine. The next video in our series is another agent that you are welcome to use. It's another flavor that you can check out. Thanks for being here. We'll see you in the next video.